I'm Joanna Laajisto, an interior architect and a designer. I run my studio in Helsinki, Finland. My name is Emma Olbers and I'm a Swedish furniture and interior designer. I'm Didi Ng. I'm an artist and designer based in Helsinki from Hong Kong. What is sustainability to you? So I usually refer to United Nations Brundtland Report, Our Common Future, where it says sustainable development is not supposed to risk the future generations. Slow down the damage to where we are living in. And it's not just about us, it's not just about what is happening right now, but it's also about the future generations. Minimize and trying to also educate my clients. We're always trying to find the best solution and try to really try to push it. So, so new products, new innovations like Neolingo are really something that you know makes our work a little bit easier or a lot easier actually. I'm really much looking forward to some plywood companies start making uh, plywood uh, out of Neolingo. So uh, with Neolingo, it allows me to laser cut without emitting any poison gas, which will be amazing. Yeah, we just need the plywood that has the Neolingo in it exactly. in the industry first. What do you think that the industry needs to be doing to become more sustainable? The most important is to reuse material and then use recycled materials and then materials with low carbon footprint. I'm always trying to use all the parts of the wood. It's almost like the head to tail eating that's been so trendy. You can use every part of the wood from the roots to the trunk to the branches. It's also like a designer's uh, responsibility to use the more organic materials to make it become the trend, to somehow be being like a leader, yeah. like uh, to tell the world that organic materials can be something even better. But the problem is actually like they would rather use low-cost materials. I'm really glad that the European Union now have new uh, legislations that you have to lower the formaldehyde in the products. What was your thoughts on why Neoligno is such a positive product? So I think it, it's great also with the colour on uh, Neoligno because when you go to the factory you can actually see or tell with the colour if it is a new material or if it's the old with uh, a lot of formaldehyde in it. They can't fake it. No, they can't fake it. <laughs> That's great. How do you think you can influence change in your industry? Me as a designer and my studio we can influence the industry by demanding more sustainable carpets, paint, fabrics. Every time there is a rep coming to our office showing us new things, I'm saying only bring sustainable. Have you considered the binders being used in the materials that you're considering for a project? So currently what the industry is using is fossil-based glues. There is no alternative before the Neoligno. One project where we we're really facing this uh, binder issue was in a hotel project, a very large one with over 400 rooms. I designed a chair that I wanted to be carbon negative because it was over a thousand chairs actually in the project and there wasn't any better alternative except uh, fossil-based glues. If we had Neoligno, it would have been a perfect product. Just like for one uh, person as an individual, it's really hard to influence the whole uh, industry. But if everyone is doing yeah. the same, doing together, yeah. can become like a strong force and tell the world how important it is. We designers really could illustrate the new green future.